But you see, there's this weird little square, like right in the middle of each thing you select. That won't be showing up to other players. That's just you. Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Chris, and welcome back to the channel today, ladies and gentlemen. I have quite an awesome video for you guys today. I'm genuinely excited about this one. Because, uh, 40 skins in Minecraft Pocket Edition are back. Yes, they are finally back. It has been way too long since I've seen anything about 40 skins. And it, it was up until about a week or two ago when I saw someone on YouTube upload a video about it. And I, I had no clue that they were back and I thought it was pretty awesome. So, I, you know, definitely happy about this. But if you guys are happy about this, you know, of course, be sure to drop a like if you do enjoy. And of course, if you're new or old, be sure to subscribe. You, you know, it, it won't hurt you. You'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. Well, you should turn on post notifications as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, besides that, if you guys, you know, have any feedback, have any questions, obviously there is the comment section for you guys to ask whatever. But there is also our Discord community that we have and the my Twitter at It's Me Crazy TM. But yeah, enough rambling on about that. Let's actually hop into today's video. So guys, for today, you're going to need three things. You're going to need ES File Explorer, which you can no longer get on the Play Store, but I do have a link to down in the description. And you're going to need two Mediafire files that I also have down in the description, being the 4D skins file and uh, the Badline client uh, file. You know, uh, that videos of that have been around, you know, quite recently. But yeah, I also have links to those down in the description. So first, what you're going to want to do straight off the bat, you're gonna want to uninstall minecraft just uninstall it okay guys i'm gonna say this right now because i forgot to actually mention it in video that if it is your first time using es file explorer when you first delete minecraft it should give the option to back up your files and like you know right before you delete it but if you don't trust just leaving it at that there is always you know just making a duplicate of your minecraft files just in case you know you don't want to risk anything but yeah, just wanted to quickly, you know, mention that it, you know, there is always that option if you guys are worried about your world. So uh, yeah, <laughs> all right, back to the video. Okay, it is uninstalled now. So what you're gonna want to do, you're gonna go down to the description and you're gonna download the 4D skins file. So guys, as you can see, we are in the Mediafire link right here and it says Minecraft 4D skin. So what you're gonna want to do, just simply tap that, wait for that to download. And once it finishes, it's going to finish like that. And then you're simply just going to tap it. And then it's going to start doing this. And it's going to give an option to install Minecraft. So you're just going to click on install. We'll tap on install. <laughs> this isn't a uh, PC. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to wait for that to install. And then once that is finished, we're just going to open that right up like so. And then we're gonna wait for it to load like how Minecraft normally loads. Just wait for that little thing to finish. And then it'll bring you into the little Minecraft menu. But let's just quickly wait for that to load. It should be done shortly. You know, almost there, almost there. There we go. And you see the thing is you can sign into your, your Xbox account. Let me quickly do that just to prove that this even works online. So as you can see, I am signed into my Xbox account, it's me crazy HD, and I have the little realms invites up in the top left corner, proving that I am currently online. Uh, for some reason, uh, it's just showing the little loading bit for the skins, but I'm just gonna say right now, the, th the 4D Minecraft skins should not be showing up just yet, because this is where the Badline client is gonna come in. You're gonna need to install that, and then, you know, and then just follow the next step. So I, so I guess I'll see you guys when we are back in ES File Explorer. So we are now in ES File Explorer. Once you get to here, you're gonna go into these lines in the top left corner, go down until you get into internal storage. Once you go onto here, you're gonna go onto downloads. And if you did already download it, it should show up right here. It's gonna say Badline Client. You're simply gonna tap it once, and then it's gonna show an option for Minecraft and then go on this time only. You're gonna let that install, so it's pretty much a resource pack if you guys didn't already know. It's so pretty much like the way you would install like texture packs and all that, but you know, just it's a client instead of, you know, a regular te uh, texture pack. You're gonna tap on allow. 
wait for that to finish importing. You're gonna, once it does that, go into your settings, go down into your global resources, go into my packs, Bellline client, activate. You're gonna back out, wait for that to fully load in, just give it a few seconds, and it should be done about now. Yep. Okay, so as you can see, my Minecraft skin is not showing up right there for some reason. You're gonna go on to change skin, and right here, you can already see all of these. See, you have uh, you have Optimus, what it looks like, uh, Balloon Boy, you know, you have all of these skins. You can literally pick between all of these. Uh, me, I think the coolest looking to me is probably the truck. So I'm gonna confirm on that one. Uh, let's go into a world to quickly show you guys what all of this actually looks like. So as you guys can see, I have the skin on right here, which looks <laughs> really weird, but really cool. Um, I ended up choosing this skin instead of the Optimus Prime one because it was like way, way too big to actually try to, you know, show it off in the video. But you see, there's this weird little square, like right in the middle of each thing you select. That won't be showing up to other players. That's just you. Um, but yeah, because as you can see, I turn around. It's just a little cursor that shows up like that. So it's just like a weird little thing that it does, but like it's literally nothing else. But yeah, uh, everyone's gonna only see the skins that you have on. It's actually really cool. But yeah, anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's video, you know, uh, again, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, just uh, tell it to them. Be sure to share whatever you can on it. But anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Stay awesome, stay crazy, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everyone. Bye-bye.